Hello and welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn two actions as part of Blue Prism Excel automation. First one, save workbook. Second one, save workbook as. First of all, we'll start with save workbook action. Why is that important to save your workbook? While you are working on a workbook, in some cases, something will happen, like throwing an exception or error in the middle of the process. For an example, if you see in our previous session, we got an error in the middle of the process and the process wouldn't reach the end to save the workbook by using close workbook. Now, let me explain you the previous session once again. What we are going to do by using select action, what we are going to do, we are going to select our active cell, right? And after that, we are going to use the directions by using find next empty cell. And then we are going to set the value by using set cell value. Now, if you see the Excel, if I'm going to select the active cell as A1, and if you're going to find the empty cell in the direction of up, in that case, what will happen? It will find the next empty cell, but cell reference will be as null, right? And in that case, what we are going to do, we are going to activate active cell as true. In that case, what will happen? We don't have any active cells over there and then it will throw an error, right? Till that time, whatever the process has been happened and the entire work will be lost over there. So because of the exception, it won't reach to the end of the process and it won't save the workbook by using close workbook. In that case, what we have to do, whatever the process has been completed, immediately we are going to save the workbook. How can we go ahead and do that? First of all, let me show you one of the scenario over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a active cell as C4, right? And then what I'm going to, I'm going to find next empty cell. What is the next empty cell we are having? C3 as next empty cell, right? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set some value over there. What is the value that I'm going to set it? I'm going to give the Chennai over there. Now in the same way, I'm going to take these three actions once again, and then I'm going to change the active cell as over here as A1. Okay, one is positive scenario, another one is negative scenario, which it is going to throw an error. All right, uh, now if you see in the employees, the cell reference is the A1, which I'm going to activate. And then what I'm going to do, find the next empty cell. I'm going to direction as up and then activate cell, I'm going to make it as true. All right, now the whatever the active cell is there, I'm going to give some value over here as Chennai. All right. So in our first case over here, it will be very, it will be in positive state. But in, if you see the other scenario over here, where you are going to select cell as A1, in that case, it will throw an error. All right. Let me show you that where we are going to get the error. I'm going to link from set cell value to again, select action. And then I'm going to run the process to see the output. Process execution started. And you can see over here, it is going to select the value as C4, and then it is going to find the empty cell reference over here. You can see the empty cell as C3. Now, we in this C3, I'm going to set the value as Chennai, and then I'm going to proceeding further. Now, if you see, I'm going to select another active cell as A1. And if you see right now, we got an error whenever we got the find next empty cell because of couldn't execute the code state because of the exception thrown by the code state. Because of, if you see, I have selected the reference as A1. So in the upward direction, I don't have any values to make it as active. That's the reason it has been thrown an error, right? Now, if you see up to here, my code is working fine. It's a like of multiple iterations, let's assume if it has been succeeded and somewhere it has been broken due to any reasons. So I want to save the data up to here, right? So each and every iteration, I want to save it or each and every action, I want to save the data. Now, if you see, but over here, I don't find the data in the C3 cell. The reason is that we have not approached the end of the close workbook over here. Right. In between, we got some error. That's why it's the process has broken over there. And then it is not reaching the close workbook to save the workbook. I will tell you one more example over here in related to the same scenario. In our Excel, we'll see a number of records, right? And we are processing each and every record. And in between, something will happen while processing the records one by one. In that case, 
it is a good idea to save the workbooks at a regular interval of time and not before the end of the process we, we want to save the workbook. All right. Now, how can we go ahead and do that? Let me drag and drop action onto the canvas. First of all, we'll see the properties for the save workbook. First business object, we're going to select it as MS Excel VBO. And you can see over here in the action, we are having save workbook and save workbook as. So in this tutorial, we'll, I will explain you the both the actions. First of all, I'm going to select save workbook. So you can see the inputs over here. What is the first input over here? Handle. We have seen this handle already. And after that, the workbook name, I'm going to select the workbook name over here. And if you see the outputs, I don't have any outputs over there. So what it will do, what are the current workbook is there it will save the entire workbook all right now let me click on ok now what i'm going to do i'm going to link from set excel set self value to save workbook from there to select action once again all right now in this case what will happen even you got an error before that what are the actions that we have processed that actions will be considered and the workbook will be saved over there now, if you see once again, now in the C3 cell, I don't have any values over there. Now, let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. And you can see it is going to select the value, select the cell reference as C4 and then empty cell reference, you got it as C3, right? And if you see right now, we got an error, but still we want to see the workbook has been saved or not. Now, open the Excel once again. Now, if you see over here, in the C3 cell, we got the value as Chennai. Because of, in our process, before going to get the error, we have given the action as save workbook. And the entire workbook has been saved successfully. So, it will be very useful if you are having n number of records and you want to save the data for each and every iteration without losing the data. In the real-time scenario, if you're going to work for the banking process and you are having thousands of records which are processing and you don't know when the process will break due to some other data types or due to null reference and whatnot. So for each and every record, it is better to save the workbook. In that case, what will happen, the data will be saved successfully and you don't want to process from once again whenever you are going to execute from one to thousands of records once again. I hope you understand how to work with save workbook action. Now, let me delete once again this Chennai over here because of we are going to work with another action that is save workbook as. So I don't want to touch the original workbook and then I want to save the replica of the workbook as is after making the changes by using save workbook as action. So to make that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this errors over here, error actions over here. You may ask in which scenarios that we are going to use save workbook as action. Most of the times we probably want to save our workbooks in the current format that is .xlsx format. Our Excel is having .xlsx format. But sometimes you may, you might need to save a workbook in another file format like Excel or text file or PDF file. In that case, what we'll do, just we'll keep our original workbook file format as is, and you are going to create another file by using save workbook as action. Now, if you see my Excel having .excel sx extension or the file format, but I don't want to change this original file, and then I want to create another file for this. If you see in my path, I am having only employee over here. And now I'm going to create one more file with the name of employee copy. All right. How can we go ahead and do that? I'm going to change the same action over here by clicking on the properties. And then I'm going to select save workbook as. And you can see I'm having the same inputs over here. One is handle. Another one is workbook name. And only the difference that we have is the file name. What is the file name that you want to give it to save the data of this workbook? I'm going to copy this entire path by clicking on shift and I'm going to select copy as path. And then I'm going to give the file name as 
employee hyphen copy dot excel sx file if you see the extension over here of the file format excel sx right so i'm going to create i don't want to disturb the original excel file and after that what are the changes we have made it at the time of set cell value or you know what are the actions that we have performed i don't want to change that original file and then i'm going to create another file with the name of employee hyphen copy dot excel sx okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to link from save workbook as action to close workbook and then let me show you the folder once again if you see in my folder i don't have any file with the name of employee hyphen copy now let's run the process to see the output process execution started and you can see over here by using this process we need to create a new worksheet with the name of employee hyphen copy and it has to store inside the folder which we have given as a path process executed successfully now if you see over here we are having employee as well as employee hyphen copy let's open the both the files now if you see the both the files side by side if you see in the employee original workbook i don't have the value chennai but whereas in the employee hyphen copy after using save workbook as there the we are having the value as chennai okay so by using that save workbook as action we can save the workbook in the current file format that is dot dot excel sx now we are having some more thing over here even by using save workbook as action you can save the files in different formats also like text file or pdf file or xps files now to make you understand what i'm going to do i'm going to change the properties and you can see over here the file name i'm going to give it as txt file so we can store we can save the file in txt file also and then i'm going to click on okay now let's run the process once again to see the output process has been executed successfully now if you see over here in the file path that we have created one more file with the name of employee dot employee hyphen copy let's open that now if you see this is the file which we have got it whenever you have created from excel file to text file okay and it has to support the files also in the same way if you want to create the file names with the extension of dot pdf in that case you are going to use the extension or the file format as dot pdf and then we will run the process once again to see the output process execution started and it will save the files in dot pdf let's open once again you can see over here employee hyphen copy dot pdf file has been created just keep in mind that whenever you are working with the save workbook in another file format some of its formats or data and features might not be saved because of the version related and all these things it won't be saved in different different formats okay i hope you understand how to work with save workbook and save workbook as action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching blue prism tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section I will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day